What is up guys, I'm Mike Jimmy Weir. And uh, welcome to episode 26 of my Gothic 3 playthrough. And episode 158 slash 159, I'm not entirely sure, of the entire Gothic series. Now uh, in this particular episode we're gonna go to the temple of Al Shadim, but first I'm gonna get myself some sleep. Inside the temple of Al Shadim, we will find the robe of Adanos, if I remember correctly. And uh, then we have one more divine artifact to get, which is. Uh, the secondary ring of Adonos. We have the Amulet of Adonos which we got in Tralis. We've got the Crown of Adonos which I got in the Temple of Morasu. We've got the Ring of Adonos, one of the two rings of Adonos which we got in Gutha. And uh, in the Temple of Al Shadim we will get the Robe of Adonos. And then I have one more ring requirement which I can find somewhere in Nordmar. But uh, we need the divine artifacts for two purposes. One, to wield it and use it to represent the power of Adonis, you know. And uh, two, I need it so I can get the secondary ending of the Warriors of the Yorks, you know. So before, let's say, I will deliver the artifacts to Karn I was safe and uh, give him the divine artifacts that that will give a, separ a separate you know ending and then we're gonna reload that and kill him instead and get the original ending which is with Zardas going into the mountains but first we have to take care of the temple of Al Shadim and its surroundings because of the fact of artifacts that are some sort of uh, hidden quests which are scattered throughout the you know sanctions of Al Shadim. You have the warriors cast which if I remember correctly requires a couple of statuettes. And then you have the Guardians of the Dead, which are a couple of vases, if I remember correctly. The priests are stone tablets. But first, I will talk with, um, you know, with Lester first of all, um, because I need him as a companion. I will also give him some a premium swamp weed from Alago. He's gonna be happy with that one. And uh, we're gonna search for the ancient keys so that we can get into the temple now do not again do not talk with Wutras even though you have to at some point you know um, as soon as they you talk with him uh, where this guy this guy over here as soon as you talk with him you know he will walk near the front of this particular rune and uh, as soon as an orc patrol sees him they instantly turn red um, which happened to me and uh, since I didn't talk with the orcs I decided to redo the recording I was not that far in yet about 30 minutes or so you know but uh, you know, that's, that's fine because I need to make sure that that orc doesn't have quests you know like collecting the keys am I able to give him the keys if so will I give him the keys so I can help you know get his uh, use of their assistance because the orcs are gonna be quite 
quite handy in helping me to defeat the undead who will uh, wander out of the temple. But uh, the most important thing is just don't talk with him just yet until you're 100% certain that they don't have quests or... You certainly took your time. Why didn't you come sooner? I... No excuses. We have great things planned and no time to waste on apologies. I will explain everything to you as best I can. But if you're not, you know, if you're not sure whether you're done before getting Wutras' support and does the other nomads' support, you know, just wait, let him wait here near Saturus, it will be easy to find then. Um, but I will first, since I'm doing a let's play-ish, you know, slash walkthrough, you can look at this in many, many different ways. But uh, I'm gonna make sure that if the orc has quests, I will complete it just to see whether I do or do not get orc reputation. Because I still need 4% um, to get 75% with the orcs, which is requirement in order to get the orcs at my side so I can talk with Khan um, but I will not be able yet to get the orc commander armor due to the fact that I haven't liberated Vanguard the capital yet but that is because that area I will liberate with Lee um, so in order to do that one I have to go all the way to Nordmar which I have to go to anyways for one the 12th fire chalice and to the second ring of Adanos, which will be the final artifact that I need. Um, but uh, let's continue with the talking with Satyrus. And then we're going to talk with, uh, I think his name was Mixir. Um, another water mage who's standing ar uh, somewhere around there, you know, near a little hut. And uh, then we're going to search the entire runes in search of the artifacts, warrior statuettes, stone tablets, vases, you know, whatever I have to do to get them all so that you guys, if you want to complete them as well, you can use my videos to just, you know, find them relatively quickly. So uh, let's talk with Satyrus. How did you get away from the island? The Focus Stones performed one last service for us. We used them for a teleportation ritual. Unfortunately, we had to leave them behind in order to escape. We no longer have the stones. But our strongest weapon is our knowledge. And that is not lost. What about the orcs? What about them? They certainly aren't here for the sunshine. They want to get the divine artifacts from the temple. And we cannot and will not permit that. So we will attack them? They won't go away voluntarily. So talk to Wutras. He knows what needs to be done. Only as a servant of Balear slash Lashishin will I kill all the water mages. What do I have to know? We are here in Al Shadim, the temple city of the Ancient Ones. According to the inscriptions, the protector of the body was kept here. Sounds like armor. Armor, a robe, a garment, probably something of that sort. One thing is certain. It is one of the five artifacts that are necessary to... To what? We will talk about that later. First, find that armor. Where is the artifact? In the temple? Naturally. And have you already opened the temple? We have found out that you need five... Keys to open the temple? Correct. I have already acquired one of the keys. And the others? Hopefully they have survived the last millennium undamaged. Then I will go look for them. Any clues? I have marked a few places on this map. They are calculations based on where the first key was found. A lot can happen in a thousand years, so don't expect too much. Where did you find the key? Quite nearby, in a stone chest. We are the priest's quarter here. Which is obvious from the architecture. The inscriptions and artifacts that we have found indicate it. 
What will happen when I open the temple? When the Great Flood swept across the land a thousand years ago, many people hid in the temple. The temple stood strong, surrounded by water. But no one ever came out alive. I suspect that the skeletons will be awakened by the strong magic. So you better take a big axe with you. Or ask Mixir about the artifact of the Guardians of the Dead. He said something about that. Perhaps he can help you. Will you give me the key? It is better if I keep it until you have found the others. Very well. Let's talk with Mixir, whatever his name was. One of the uh, stone tablets of the priests, which is one of those artifacts. They will be scattered all over the sanctions of the priests. Um, did he give me the map? Yeah. Alright, so we have the house of the priests here, which is this entire section. Then you have the house of the guardians of the dead, which is this entire section. Um, you know, this just indicates where the key is at. But there is a little area more around here somewhere, you know. Um, this is the area of the warrior of the school where we will find um, the warrior statuettes, <coughs> healers quarters where we will find vases, ancient library where we will find um, scrolls I think, and uh, the houses of the priests, tablets and guardians of the dead are vases. So guardians of the dead and healers quarters can be quite confusing because both of them are vases but they're separate vases. Um, but we're gonna start, of course, with the House of the Priests. Then we're gonna go to the Guardians of the Dead, Warrior School, Healer's Quarters, and then the Library. Now, it, as soon as you pick all of them up, a uh, pop-up will appear, you know, completed the quest. Uninteresting. But uh, they're not really quests, they are like, more like collectible quests, you know, somewhat hidden. Don't touch. All right, I'll be careful. I've spent hours bringing order to this chaos. You wouldn't believe how many ancient stone tablets and artifacts we find. And how much trouble it is to sort them all. But now, I have an overview. What about the artifact of the Guardians of the Dead? Guardians of the Dead? Guardians of the Dead? Oh, should be under AV-37. Ah, here, I quote, And yar ago, the Guardian descended into the crypt. Get to the point. Here it is. He bore his, uh, his, uh, artifact, blessed with the power of the light and of life and gave peace to those who found no peace. And what is that supposed to mean? Uh, I think this may be something that is certainly of use to you. The ancient robe of Adonis. About those ancient artifacts. Oh, yes, yes. And most of it is useless crap. Recipes and love letters, uh, that sort of thing. Here. Oh, thighs, oh, Juicy thighs. A love letter? A recipe. It is old, but not useful knowledge. Tell me about useful ancient knowledge. Ancient knowledge is the key to ancient magic. Without that knowledge, you will never be able to learn the ancient spells. Stone tablets, artifacts, inscriptions, useful knowledge. It could be hidden anywhere. Here. I can give you these tablets. Can you teach me something? <laughs> yes, I have succeeded in deciphering some magic formulas. I will teach them to you if you like. Teach me something about ancient magic. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods.
Required strength, 400. What? Now I still need um, 21,000 in total for uh, the water robe. Just as a collectible, if you will. Yeah. Uninteresting. Now one though can teach me ice explosion. Let's see if I can make some um, potions. I got plenty of booze, plenty of sulfur. I don't have the ingredients for that. Oh, I'm out of vials. Alright, so let's search. There's another one. Here's another one, that's number two. A normal stone tablet. So I'm now gonna search for the um, tablets of the priests. Now you can sell them. But uh, they're not really quest related to give to any of the water mages basically. But uh, I will still collect them because you know it's a quest and uh, quests are very important to complete. So I'm gonna search the surroundings for the tablets of the priests. Here we have number three. make sure you know if you want these items relatively quickly without you know the need of watching the entire video basically because most of my time will be consumed by this when it comes to the temples of El Shadim but uh, if you are looking for them specifically make sure to check the description I'll make sure to uh, timestamp them so that you guys can quickly find them all Now 
are these also belong to uh, the priests? I'm currently out of bounds, you know, I'm currently uh, out of the map site, but that's because of the keys, you know. I don't have to search these areas for the key because Saturus has that particular key. Uh, and Lester has the key for uh, um, from the healers, so I don't need to search that one either. If I'm gonna talk specifically about the key, you know, I still need to search them for artifacts. That section also belongs to the house of the priests. Just make sure to check your map regularly and uh, as soon as you you know enter the vicinity of this, you know this outer line here, I say it that way, you know, you are in the area of the house of the guardians of the dead. For sample, you know. But these things are well hidden, so uh, you gotta keep your eyes open for those. I, most of the time, have relatively issues, number four, by the way. Um, relatively have issues with uh, getting them all, especially all the vases. Which is the house of the guardians of the dead, as well as the house of the priests. Well, healers, I think. Yeah, healers, because this is the area of the priests. Google the locations, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. Here's another one, number five. So we still got, haven't got them all, so there must be around five plus. But I don't know at the moment, you know, how many exactly they are. Um, but it will be, it will pop itself up, you know, once you found all of them. So let me check this side. Which is also one of the reasons why I pick up plants, you know, so I can indicate, uh, here it is, still not all, but uh, so that I can indicate that, uh, you know, I have been to the area to make it a bit less confusing. But it gets, it happens relatively quickly, you know, to get confused in these runes. one more area I haven't checked which is in the lower lower parts come snapper now that is from the guardians of the dead so I will go down later I will kill the dark snapper though if I can hit that is Right through them. Oh, 
will not go to that side yet, that's the side of the Guardians of the Dead. First I have to make sure that I got all the tablets of the priests. Undead. But these items may help me to get the robe of the mage. Now I'm already a bit into the section of the Guardians of the Priests, but that's because I have to walk around to get to this location. Where's my snapper? Come. There it lies, number seven, I think. Alright, so we've got all the seven tablets of the priests. Let me uh, check all the areas still for the plants and whatnot, and then we're gonna go to the secondary part which is the areas of the Guardians of the Dead, which is one of those areas that I get confused easy. My snapper body is dead, I think. Yup. Otherwise I would have lost control of my uh, snapper if it was still alive.
Let's see you a bit. I don't like those mummies, so I'll, as soon as they get close, I run away. Because they are fast. Might be weaponless, but they are fuck, and they easily stun lock you. Wasn't there another archer? I suppose not. All right, so let's check this area. Now I have to keep my eyes open for vases, vases like objects, which are the urn slash vases of the guardians of the dead. One urns of the guardians of the dead. Okay, let's go, Gobo. Now we have a second one, obviously. Number two. I'm first gonna make sure I check the one side out, you know, otherwise I get confused.
number three. Goblin is glitching like a boss. Number four. Let me summon a new goblin. Something smells burning. But I don't think it's some coming from my room. I have uh, the door open. For some fresh air. Possible. Mouse, sorry about that guys. My uh, mouse have MMO buttons on the side, you know, which allows me to switch gear. But I rarely use it. And uh, I accidentally pressed it. Wow.
I really don't like these buggers. So that's quite safe. Broken. All right, so let's get my head noggers. Just because of the uh, a battle. have to be careful with that uh, fire golem Get lost, mummy. Oh, it's a zombie. A 
again the uh, side mouse button See what kind of magic I can use versus the golem. I'm not quite sure if I shaved, so I just make doubly sure. still works, eh? Good to know. I have always issues with these fire golems. It's good to know that uh, the elements still work relatively well. Normal arrows again. another one currently got seven I think so there should be I think one more I hope one more
Right, so let's open these chests. The, temp the temple key, one of the five, well, one of the four. This is the fourth temple key. most reason why I get confused is uh, not because of the ruins but because of dying and etc so I'm playing it relatively safe at the moment you know like uh, walking backwards with the zombies slash mummies Last one, I hope. Nope, still not the last one. Let me check how many I have. Eight vases, urns of the guardians of the dead. So, how many are there then? Well, as long as I don't get the pop up with the quest completion, I have to recheck everything. Well, rethink, recheck everything is a big word for. Nine and still not, so there must be ten. How many of these boogadings are there? However many there are, I will get them all, obviously. the one it's most likely that there are still some undead surrounding it but I have to make doubly sure you know This part belongs to the priests, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this area belongs to the priests. Could be that it's a bit outside of the uh, rune map, you know, because the rune map is not entirely complete. I didn't check this part. Hmm. Really? Well, I got it. Alright, so that were the 10 urns of the Guardians of the Dead. And now we're gonna go to the Warrior School.
Good thing I didn't loot that plant because that plant guided me to the last urn. This over here is the warrior school. Which is, if I remember correctly, were statuettes of the warrior. So they could also stand on walls. Here is a one figurine of the warriors. Another figurine of the warriors. If I remember correctly, there were seven figurines, seven, but uh, I could be wrong. Could also be from the temple, uh, so I don't pay too much attention to it, see, temple. Like I said, these parts are the longest parts because of the searching throughout the entire rooms. Especially the statuettes, they are really not that, uh, you know, obvious. Broken. Which is one of the reasons why I always pick plants because that indicates, you know, that uh, I have already been through the area, but that does not indicate that I always check thoroughly. You know, so most of the time I do, 
but uh, I can make mistakes as well. Here we have another figurine. Another one. You again. Here we have uh, the key, second key, the third of the five, but uh, I, w I would just say, you know, first key, second key when I find them, but I will also mention their original number. This one is three, the Guardians of the Dead was four. Every time the same button. How is going through him? Such a nonsense.
Let me make sure I got checked everything, you know. sure I checked that area. I'm not 100% sure, but... Let's quick save again. How many figurines do I have? Five, so about two more I think. to this area. So I'm now using telekinesis to spot it. Well trying to get it spot with telekinesis. This is the healer's quarters, so... Where, oh where, is the seventh statue? to rerun it entirely pretty much to figure out where did I miss it. Let's check the area with uncertainty. 
file is it? I haven't been here entirely yet. Oh, it's a dead one. Never mind. But there are some plants laying around here, so... Temple again. Spook me a bit. So far, nothing. But telekinesis does help. Quarters. One of the tankers of the healers. Let me make sure I get everything here. So that I know that this area is cleared. Alright, so let's go back to the uh, warrior. Also parts of the healers. I keep in the plant staff now so I know that I haven't explored it yet. But, I missed one statuette. And I've got no clue where. Probably the area where the uh, living Templar was, but I'm not quite sure where that was again. So I'll just use my telekinesis power to see if it can spot it, because at a certain distance it will notify it and show it as in, you know, it's reachable with telekinesis so uh, my apologies for this guys, but uh, at the moment I do want that one which make my video kind of incomplete if I said, you know, forget it. It's a good thing that this area is not really that large. The, uh, ruins of the warrior. Of all the places, I forget this one. Okay, well, that one is done. Long live telekinesis. Alright, so now the healers. Which uh, Lester has the key from, so we won't find the key. But we will find uh, more of these tankards. I already have two. Um, I think there were about... 5 to 10. So that's a huge difference, you know, between the numbers, but I'm not entirely sure. But nevertheless, I will uh, get it. This was the area I think that I cleared, but let me make doubly sure. Mm. 
this one was not jet controlled, so... Now the heat is one is huge. This entire outer area will be the most of the episode, most likely, but uh, it's also the largest part of the episode without hands down. Unless I die a lot in the temple, well, I doubt it. There is a vase, or it, no, it's just stairs. And my bad. Here we have another one, Tinket of the Healer. One of the nomads. Now if you talk with Fulgaras you need to find these guys. But uh, I haven't talked with him yet due to red name instantly and uh, I want to prevent that so let me first get the artifacts then I will talk with which was and that's part of the ancient library so I don't have to go there another tank to the healers Here's another one, sneaky sneaky. The five tankards, so this one is done. Now Laris or Laris, Lester has this key, so we don't have to search for that one. So now we're gonna go to the ancient library. Which is this entire section which is gonna take some time I think this place had about five to seven scrolls but again I'm not entirely sure Stone tablet, nice.
so far nothing. Here's another group of nomads. I can't talk to them yet due to Wutras. Now this is the largest area of the th of all. Well, that's because the ancient library is massive. It's uh, this entire area. So that's a lot of corridors and such to check through. Not like that. Oh there, they call at me. That 
that's the way. Miserable beast. Yeah, where did I learn them from? I think it was up here. Yup. Now we have one of the uh, stacks. Scrolls of the Scholars. Here's another one. That's two. Anything. <laughs> I'm guy going. Make sure you don't lose them out of sight. Otherwise he will reach him. Bad luck. Another temple key, which is the fifth. And we only missed the ones from uh, Laris and uh, a Satuous. But I'm not done here yet. I need a couple more scrolls of the scholars. Until I've checked them and completed them all, collected them all, I am not allowed to go into the temple yet. Stone tablet.
Wow, I'm missing a lot. Glitching like a boss. What time is it by the way? Six almost five thirty again. It's almost six. So uh let's go to the store soon, otherwise it closes. So uh I will do El Shadim the temple itself in a uh, second part of El Shadim. Because uh if I don't make the store I'm screwed and I have to skip dinner today, which you know could be fine but it's not that I will fall apart, but I'm still hungry-ish. Broken. But I do want to have all the scrolls. This area is huge. Makes it more confusing than it actually helps. Currently have three scrolls, I think correctly. Two. No, no, at least four, at least. This area is checked. Check this side of it. I think I did, but surely looks like it.
Yeah, most definitely check this area. Probably not the entire TV as well. Let me go to the forefront. That's here, so I don't have to go there. area is so massive that it is so confusing. also an entire two parts of it. So let's walk by these borders parts. They're pretty rapidly notes. It's a uh, stack of scrolls. Yeah, I'm starting to get confused and time is currently not on my side. This area hasn't been checked, it's still teeming with beasts. Except for these beasties. But I did hear a sand crawler. Lots of them.
<sighs> Why are these areas so large? I've got no clue at the moment, guys. I'm pretty sure I've checked everything. But I still miss at least two. Maybe even three. But I have to hurry, you know, I have to go to the store, so... I'm pretty much screwed at the moment, so... My apologies about this guys, but uh, I'm gonna save right here and uh, I'll finish it tomorrow, well, tonight actually, you know, um, but in about 30 minutes or so the store will close, so I have to get to the store and uh, I'm gonna chill a bit with a meet of mine, um, but at the current moment I still need three more scrolls of the ancient ones but uh, time is running out for me at the moment so I have no choice but to do it in two parts so if you guys want to finish the uh, you know the scroll quests and such check out the second part of the temple of El Shadim episode 26 but for now I'm out because uh, you know time is running out so anyways guys I want to thank you all for watching and uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure to leave behind a comment, both positive or negative. And if you want a hardcore run, thumbs it up or thumbs it down, whatever you want. But for a hardcore run, thumbs it up, you know. And uh, I will see you guys in part 2 of uh, the Temple of Al-Shadim. So see you guys then.